Welcome to the Ages of Rock podcast with your hosts, Bill Algie, Dennis Talbot, and Alan Tate. We are three guys who have one thing in common, a love of rock and roll. Our goal is to talk about all things rock. We hope you find this show intriguing, funny, and occasionally highly opinionated. Enjoy. Hey folks, this is episode number 221. Today we have my old high school friend, and I call him old, and I'm actually a couple months older than him, so I guess I'm the old guy here. No, wait. No, Dennis wait. is the Dennis old guy because he just turned 55. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> well, what time 5th. this goes out, you just That's turned true. 55. That's true. We're Damn it, Bill. This. Dennis. We're recording this on July 4th, though. It's That's a right. Summer. In an I, early morning. It is early morning. I had to call Dennis to wake him up, even though he's the one that said, let's do this at 930. <laughs> Oh, I said do it as early as possible. So it would oh, have been. If you go back no, you actually test, said 930. You said 930. No, you so, said my wife is leaving at 930. I said, let's do it. And you said there. that's fine. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you look at your text, it specifically says 930. I know. I know. So, yeah, Mr. I, Sleepyhead. I slept through. So, <laughs> so it's not 930. It is 930. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone had a safe and happy 4th of July. You still have all your fingers. You didn't blow anything off. Or you didn't get blown off. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> well, this went in the tank real quick. It did. Anyway, my old high school friend, Craig Wright, he'll be on the show here in a little bit. This week's episode is uh, our five top worst kiss lyrics. And when we say worst, they may be worse because they're terrible lyrics. They just may be because we think they're funny as hell. I don't know. You'll find out here in a few minutes. What you got for album acquisitions, Bill? I only have one, and it's from my son, Alex, who got cool. me this for Father's Day. It arrived, I don't know, earlier this week, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Um, and he got it for me because uh, we went to Red Rocks together. He was with us last year, and he really had a great time. But he found this Disturbed live at Red Rocks final and uh got it for me for father's day so it arrived in the mail and i haven't had a chance to listen to it yet but right. um is it red vinyl it is not i thought it was uh, and cool uh, it, it, was. It, 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 it is not so i opened i did open it to find out that it is black vinyl right um the other challenge is it's got this nice hype sticker on there so we talk about this with albums right you get this nice hype right. sticker um but it's a gatefold so what do you do dennis I just open it from the side and I just leave it closed. <laughs> but what do you know about the gatefold? You didn't. Then you don't know what's in the gatefold. That's the you challenge pull, I'm having. Can, I'm. You could open. Use it like a. Use it like a plastic cover. Just slice it down the one side. You can pull it off. And then you, you can't can put, put it back a, on. You can't put that shit back on. Yeah, you can. Well, see, that, see, I have this. See, now I have this big issue. Same one. This is a record that I got a while back. This is what Rush is doing with their newer albums. They put in this real loose thing, and like you said, the hype sticker is on this loose plastic. So I haven't actually I haven't opened this one yet. But what well, I do didn't is do that when it shipped from when it shipped from wherever this came from. So right. well I slide it down the, the the side like this, and then you can pull the record back out and kind of uses it. But I like to put them in plastic sleeves, so I end up putting a double plastic sleeve on these because I want to keep the hype sticker. But yeah, that's a that's a shitty way to do that. I, I don't know how to fix that, but I don't know. It's it pisses me off too. So that's my only new acquisition. Acquisition. Well, I got a few from the other day. I got. Uh, uh, a little missing persons calling a calling the uh, color of your life. I like missing persons. A lot. What is on that? I don't even know what's on. Uh, that. Actually, there's nothing really that's uh, oh, okay. Well, you don't have to read big. it. I just no. I, it's just, just I just like missing persons. So I, uh, it's one of those things. I just if I like a band, I just keep buying it. Finally went back and found the the one that I really wanted. The now and Zen Robert Plant. So I've got I got a copy of that now. Finally, um, found this yesterday. Uh, not a big fan of them, but Mike and the Mechanics. No, uh, that's a good record. Got living years, but I mean, it's yeah. really good shape, and it's it comes from that girl up at Watch for Doodle, up at um, uh, Trader Baker's. So they always have really premium. They clean them. I got it for six bucks. It was pretty nice. Um, don't know why, but I just love Joe Walsh, and I'm I'm getting my good my collection of Joe Walsh. This is uh, there goes the neighborhood. It's got uh, Life of Illusion on there, so it's I listened to it yesterday. It's, it's kind of a cool album. Um. Kelly was bitching that I didn't have enough uh, singer-songwriter shit. Of course, she meant noon singer-songwriter stuff. So, <laughs> But I did find a time in the bottle of Jim Croce's greatest love songs. <laughs> I, I said, don't Look, think that's what she was talking about. But I tell you what, singer-songwriter, <laughs> I'll put him up against any of these new guys. I mean, I think she was talking about Croce. famous Amos. 
I don't know whatever his name Aguirre. is. <laughs> yeah, Amos Lee. Yeah, I guarantee that's it. Amos Lee. That or any of those other guys. But no, I, I love I love Jim Croce. So that's some good stuff. Be good to sit around and listen to late night. Um, finishing out my cheap trick, uh, I got all shook up. I've seen that album a few times. I went ahead and got and got it. I'm not a big fan of this album, but you know, it's, I got to get it to, to complete the the set. That one has a hype sticker on the front of it too. I noticed. No, it's got the. I'm just the kidding. <laughs> I just yeah. to turn Guess where I got that one at? <laughs> I just want to have a just talk to turn you up a little bit. <laughs> well, Rick wasn't Rick wasn't there last time I was down there. I'm gonna have a little talk with him about that. Um, I did get from down there. I got uh, Sticks Cornerstone. That's kind of getting my Sticks collection cleared out. Uh, I did go to uh, Ashley's and uh, Jerome's place over there, um, Atmosphere Collectibles. I got a uh, Keel Right to Rock. I got that. It was only 15, I paid fifteen for that, but that you know for that kind of album, that's not that bad a price for that. It's pretty good shape. Um, I got. This is a funny story. I got spooky tooth. I busted your. Or you broke my heart, so I busted your jaw. When I was a kid, you know, you got those Columbia House record, you know, things, and you took the mm-hmm. little stickers and you peeled them off. And I always saw this album on her, and it always showed that face. I'm like, going, that's a good. And it's always, it was always one I remembered going, that's a really weird album. I, so finally, they had it on auction. And I was like, okay, I said, I don't even know what it sounds like, but I'm just going to buy it because it has some memories since I was a kid. And it's actually not a bad, it's not a bad record. It's kind of a blues rock uh, kind of deal. So the f- other cool thing was while we were in there, the last one I got, uh rod and i went and she was like here listen to this and tell me what you think it sounds like so she put this record on and it, it sounded like uh uh inner sandman it had kind of that same same kind of guitar but it was a slower guitar and i thought that's kind of funny but then she kept it on and i kept playing i'm like going it, it was kind of thrash metal but i'm like i'm not really into thrash metal but it was, was kind of cool and i'm like well, who is that she says a band called excel so I ended up, um, and it's the album, The Joke's On You. And actually, I bought it, and I really like it. It's, it's something I can't listen to all the time, but it's on. It's also on blue vinyl, so it's really cool looking. Uh, there is a, they do a remake of Message in a Bottle, kind of a punk version of Message in a Bottle on here, too. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's something different, you know, something I'm, I'm not going to listen to a bunch, but, you know, throw it on there and put something new in there. Cool. That's all I have as far as records. I did uh, order one on Amazon. It's coming uh, tomorrow on Sunday. We're getting it, and another one of those rush boxes, the hemispheres. Oh, free record, and for forty eight dollars on that on Amazon, they're sixty one at the store. So, I like that was free shipping. Spoiler oh. alert for the next album acquisition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I might have a couple next time. We'll have to see. Yeah. So, but that's all I got about that. And I don't think there's really any news going on. We're still the concerts are getting canceled and. Um, I know that they yeah, had that. I, I saw that the Sticks concert got rescheduled to March it of 2021. Yeah. And that like was two wonderful. days later, I got an email from Ticketmaster or Live Nation, who or Old National, right. that uh, I can get a ticket for 25 bucks. So, oh, because the veterans thing? No, it wasn't the veterans tickets things at all. Oh, huh. I just got a thing saying, "Hey, 25 dollars tickets." So, right. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to now. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, because that, was, that wasn't until July, end of July, 25th or 26th. So I was hoping that they would maybe go ahead and run that show. But it, it's not, like I said, it's not going to happen. I'm pretty sure there is not going to be a 2020 concert season at all. I don't all. think so. I know Ace, you know, Ace, didn't he, he announced that one that we were going to do, but then the one that was before it got canceled now. So I think it's yeah, just it's going to be canceled. Yeah, they're going to keep canceling. I mean, I know these guys are wanting, they're chomping at the bit, wanting to get back out. But unless the venues and the towns that they're in, um it's not gonna happen it's just gonna be a while yet i think you're so, right I'm not gonna but i don't know ronnie has told me about this i have alan have you heard about that concert that's gonna be up at rio with garth brooks uh did i believe that happened last week oh did it already happen yeah I that think was last week past saturday because so, i never i have not uh, up to, to this day i have not other than my, my buddy ronnie telling me about it i've never seen an advertisement well, you don't follow anyway. anybody that follows country music, or you would have that. You would think you would hear it on the radio or TV or something, or the pay, you know, get a. I, I've never, even on Facebook, not one fucking post about it. I mean, this has been really weird. So Ryan I'm Harris posted about it because I think he was talking about going. No, oh, maybe I must have missed it. Well, so. I, I, Laura and I had actually invited Brian Harris to go with us because originally we were, I was under the impression that, uh, it would be like he was going to go to a stadium where you could drive in and perform it live. 
but then they were like, no, they're going to, he's going to broadcast at once to all these different drive-in theaters. And we were both like, nah. <laughs> oh, so he wasn't there at Rio. Then. He, he wasn't oh, at Rio. No, no. He's not going to play in Rio. Well, that's the thing. Rod told me, yeah, he's going to be there and they're going to, no, they're going to, they're going to stream it from the, they're going to play it there. And then they're going to stream it to all these other places. And I'm like going, yeah. what the fuck would Garth Brooks come to Rio for? Yeah, that's not going <laughs> to happen. Well, that makes sense. Cause I figured if Garth Brooks was coming to town, we would have heard about it. You know what I'm saying? You would have heard about it. I mean, oh, Evansville was yeah. his first, you know, he did his, what, uh, launch of that one last tour that he did. You know, he came to Evansville and practiced that week, actually, at Robert Stadium and did, what, two shows? Correct. Yeah. So, I, well, I, what's funny is my wife and my mother-in-law went to that show. Right. And um, the guy that was in front of them kept standing up, you know, and my mother-in-law finally grabbed him by his belt pushed him, set him down in a seat. And she said, I didn't pay $65 to watch you wiggle your goddamn ass. <laughs> <laughs> you had to show off that belt buckle. <laughs> well, she was behind him, so she didn't see the fucking belt buckle anyway. No, I guarantee it. <laughs> but yeah, that, that makes more sense. And I was kept going, there's no way he's playing at Rio. Because <laughs> no. it was what, $10 a person? It was, it was, pretty it was $100, no, it was $100 per per a car. Oh, hundred dollars a car. Okay, yeah, you got no right. information at all. You might no, as well just quit talking. No, I remember. About it. I remember that now because we were <laughs> we were making jokes about the clowns would be, would actually make they would be they would they would do the best of anybody because they'd have like eighty five people in their car. <laughs> I'd be kidding. <laughs> you know, That's you funny. I know. Thank you. Well, <laughs> I, I, I don't know of any other music news. This we should end on that note. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sour here we go. Note. <laughs> here we go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we've got my friend Craig here on, and this week we are going to do our five top worst Kiss lyrics. Of course, worst is subjective. They may be funny. They may be terrible. All of the above, none of the above, whatever. Craig, how are you doing? Good, good. Glad to be here. And for anybody who gives a shit, Craig and I went to high school way back in the 1900s in uh, Union County, Kentucky. Wow. <laughs> we survived. We wow. sur we survived the hillbillies. Was it more was it more than one one room, or was it just one room? School? Well, let me put it this way: had like one textbook, and they shared it. We had <laughs> no, we had what sex textbook? education on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and driver's ed on Tuesday and Thursday because they had to use the same car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what was like, like like how to pick up your cousin 101 is that yeah. how <laughs> well Dennis wow. you're fired <laughs> Uncle Daddy said if you said anything like that I remember hearing all those stories about when Lincoln went to school how they had a he had like a coal shovel and he, he drew and that's how he wrote things on a coal shovel with a piece of a, a shale or whatever you guys do kind of the similar thing or did you actually have like chalkboards what shale what are you talking <laughs> about Sales is what them things you pick up off the beach. <laughs> off the beach. <laughs> off the beach. Son of a beach. We got sales. All right. Uh, all right. Let, let's quit making fun of our hillbillies now. It's time to. Craig's like, this is much funnier when I listen to it because when I watch it and I'm on it, it's not that funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> not as funny when you're in the hot seat. That's right. Man. But don't, so, don't worry. We we make fun of all of our guests. You know that. Yeah. We not, we're not making fun of you. We're actually making fun of Alan. We're equal, <laughs> it's unfortunate. We're, we are equal opportunity. <laughs> I'm just we digging will, the hole deeper. I'm, I'm we'll, done. Yeah, I'm out. Funny. <laughs> Good with that. All right. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. Craig, since you are our esteemed guest, what is your first pick? Well, I would like to uh, read from the book of. Book of what? Uh oh, he shut himself off. Yeah, we lost lost his voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Cannot hear you. You're hmm. muted. Well, that was my fault. Go. I I hit the wrong button. Oh, well, way to go, <laughs> Flick. <laughs> okay, great. You now? What is go your ahead. first pick? Okay, I was going <laughs> to read from the book of Hot in the Shade. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, read my body. Are the letters big enough? <laughs> <laughs> read my body do you like the book of my love turn the page get to the good stuff yeah. i mean yeah. yeah it was pretty bad that was bad 
That's bad. There were a lot to choose from that. Right I know now, there actually. was. <laughs> there were actually. There were quite a few. I was like, yeah. we do there. I'm like, I st- I kind of got centered on a different one, but you know, hey. Yeah, I I got <laughs> I got some 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 weird stuff. So, well, find Bill, it. do you want to go next? Um. Yeah. So you're probably not going to like this because I think you really like this song, Alan. But my my first one is um, Great Expectations. I oh. was going to go there but i did i will say <laughs> and, and and the thing is i read it and i can hear him singing it which just makes it that much worse because it's like this right. ballady kind of thing it's like this makes no sense <laughs> you're sitting in your seat and then you stand and clutch your breast our music drives you wild along with the rest oh it's like she's going oh and she's like she's, oh. she's like you're sitting she's standing up and you go oh you ever had a girl do that to you when you said something? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me well, usually Sorry. when a girl clutches your breast, she's giving you a purple nerple. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's clutching I, she's clutching her own breast. That's what I was like. I don't what? <laughs> Maybe she likes jeans so much she's giving herself purple nurples. Yeah. Don't you ever watch porn? I mean <laughs> didn't say pinching. <laughs> it's clutching. All right. <laughs> what what Dude, do you got, crazy. Dennis? All right, I'm just gonna go for the big one right off the bat. I mean, this this is from the uh, reading from Burn, bitch, burn. Ah. Oh, babe, I want to put my log in your fireplace. All right, you know that that's just. I'm gonna go start with number one, and then we're gonna work our way back down. But yeah, that's just. <laughs> It's you like, gotta okay. start. You gotta start okay. the beginning. The, whole, not, the whole. No, but I, I got more, and actually, it, it make it's even creepier. So don't worry about it. I got more. Trust me. This is so, the obvious one. You know. So besides Dennis, who else picked that one? That was my number one. <laughs> it wasn't number one. <laughs> you know, I, did. I don't. I don't have an order. But, but can we can we stick with that 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 verse for a minute? Because I got a question. Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. Ooh, baby, you want to get played? No, no, no. Well, oh. it's out of the frying pan into the fire. You've been over, baby, and let me be the driver. Just a no. cut of pink. Wouldn't yeah, believe me if I told you. What? I don't get that. The hell is that? I don't get that. <laughs> well, don't think, get that of, think of the How term. How do you not get that? Think of the term. It's How do I not all pink get that on away? the inside. <laughs> Bill, what? think of the term. It's all pink on the inside. I know. I got he that part. a cut of that pink. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was I was thinking that something. I was like you. I was confused. That one didn't even make sense. But then I got to the like the log and the fire. Most of those lyrics okay. don't make okay, sense. Okay, that was the, that was the part of burn bitch burn that I picked because right. sorry I went out of turn. I just I missed that because I thought the right. other line was what you is what you talked about. But I I cut it off there. So that's I don't get to go the second round. <laughs> well, this is a terrible song. Period. Because it, you it's know, just bad. It's just bad. But right before it says, "I want to put your log in a fireplace." Okay, I got nasty habits. It's fine. It's a fine line. So many girls, so little time. When love rears its head, I want to get on your case. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I want to put my log in your fireplace. It's like that's just terrible. <laughs> fireplace rhymes. <laughs> anyone, anyone can write a song well i i think that that's all he was doing really was looking for oh, I how, think that's how can we make something rhyme with fireplace <laughs> maybe yeah that's that's just awful terrible that's it number one seller <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah. there you go well my first pick is uh from the unmasked album and it is uh ace Frehley's torpedo girl i was thinking that song too. yeah uh, there there are plenty of strange lyrics in here, but the one that really gets me is, I saw this thing that looked a lot like a submarine with a pretty girl on the bridge. Could this be a dream? Right. <laughs> it's, it's and Unmasked is my least favorite Kiss album, and I even have to say, for the most part, I don't like the Ace songs on there, which usually everything Ace puts out on these Kiss albums I've always liked. Right. Hmm. It's interesting. What's your next pick, Craig? Uh, <laughs> uh, where did I crap there? There it is. Uh, let's put the X in sex. <laughs> I'm going there too. Yeah. Uh, let's put the X in sex. Your love's like a muscle. You make me want to flex. Oh, baby, let's put the X in sex. Keep it undercover. Let me be your private eye. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's pretty bad. And between that and rock hard, they're both right there together. Right. <laughs> well, aren't you know if you're gonna put a uh, you know like a greatest hits package out, and you want two songs that kind of 
at least they go together, right? For the, well, they for the package. They so do. that would make sense. I mean, really. <laughs> it's just bad. It's I'm bad. skipping my I'm skipping my number two because I, I tagged on to tagged on the Dennis. What's that? Oh, I'm next. He said go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go with that too. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang with the X and Sex because that was the other one. You know, love is like a muscle and you make me want to flex. It's like really. I mean this this shit is so spinal tap, it isn't even funny, you know. <laughs> Big well, time. That that song was on my list too, and I knew someone was going to pick that line, right. so I picked the the line. Um, they knew my address, not a clue. Then I saw those black lace panties, and I knew that it was, <laughs> it was you. you. So, <laughs> so Brian Harris, deep. there you go. This one's for you. <laughs> and the video was even better. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. But you get to see Paul doing this. <laughs> yeah, put the eggs and six. <laughs> there's something about in the video though when you if you watch the video him saying that thing about the black lace panties is just it's it, it, I don't, he just does something weird it's, it's, yeah, I know, it is, it is kinda, it's all it is. weird the dancing's weird well, it's all weird. weird yeah the whole thing is just weird <laughs> well paul was yeah and the multicolored clothing and the and the, all the draperies and stuff he was wearing it was just it's a he, it's a mess it's it's a complete mess <laughs> <laughs> i mean this is really bad you know th those were the mod years you know the mod and you know the, the yeah you know, gene you know gene was just in you know he was a what well, was the other one that was Chris really Sanzac bad calls it mod of thunder <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you thinking about uh thrills in the night it was that it well was no that what was the other one they did that with uh when they were they had like the the nurses and they're pushing around all the that's up all, all, all night, night. Uh, oh all yeah night. that's all night you know yeah. that 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 kind of era of kiss is just ridiculous it's just <laughs> you know the asylum era was pretty yeah it was just different so. oh, yeah. well it, it, it none of those are none of paul's songs on the asylum album made my list but all night gets honorable mention but some of the lyrics in that song yeah it's, yeah it's, 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 i would agree yeah exactly all right so what's your third pick craig okay so it's <sighs> I remember being a little kid when I heard this song, and this line stuck out to me really bad. Uh, King of the Nighttime World, uh, You're My Headlight Queen. I was like, ooh, that's really dirty. Can I sing that? But, you know, now it's really tame compared to some of the other stuff. <laughs> when they graduated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're six and seven, you hear the Headlight Queen, you think, ooh, that's bad. Here's, here's something weird. I just found out today that is a remake. Did not know. Is it? It yeah. is. King of the Night. It was called the Hollywood. Who was the people that did it? Hollywood Stars. I, Hollywood, Hollywood Stars. Star. Yeah, that sounds right. I mean, actually, Alice Cooper, his, his song Escape was also redone by, by Watch My Doodle. Watch My Doodle. By Hollywood Stars. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. King of, and they, they got the original version on there, and it just sounds just like it. They didn't change a shit and thing. So, Interesting. Anyway. Yeah, I did not know that till today. Well, in, in true Kiss fashion, I'm sure that if you listen to the original version, right. some of the lyrics are different so that Paul could get some of that publishing. Mm, it's pretty damn close. Is it? <laughs> I mean, it's really it's close. It's been a long time since I heard that version, so I don't it's remember. It's very, very close. I don't see how. But anyway, interesting, though. Bill, what do you got next? Uh, I got a little bang, bang, you. Yeah. Next. Um, Can we just go with the just with the with the name of the song? This is yeah. This name is. Um. So really, it's the chorus, and it, it's a good thing. I mean, apparently they can count. That's good, right? So, and we go, we go <laughs> one, two, three, four. When midnight comes, I'll be at your door. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, I just can't wait. I'm gonna bang, bang you. I'll shoot you down with my love gun, baby. Bang, bang you. I got you in the heart. Yeah, you're going to be mine. Yeah. Hands up. Reach for the sky. I'll treat you good because I'm a bad guy. Incredible. <laughs> Poetry in motion right there. Okay. <laughs> we count to 10. Uh, you know what? If I had a child, I would probably, like now that I've looked at these lyrics, because you know you sing them along and you're just like, you're singing along and you're not really listening to lyrics. And then all of a sudden you read them and you're like, shit. <laughs> you know. I would probably just count. I'd probably teach my kid to count that way. Let's count to eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four. When midnight comes, I'm at your door. Go. 
<laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Who do we appreciate? Who do we appreciate? <laughs> wow. All right, Dennis, what do you have next? All right, so I'm going to pick a song, actually, that I picked last week as my favorite song, one of my favorite songs off of Revenge. Actually, it was my favorite song off of Revenge. And this, this song is just, like, chock full of great lyrics, and it's spit. I read that. I read that. You know, too. And it's basically, you know, the, of course, you know, the bigger the cushion, the better the pushing. You know, he didn't make that up. That's just something, but most definitely. But I mean, if you go, the other one that gets it, because what you is, is what you eat. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And then, you know, uh, you know, of course, lock the windows, close the doors. When she gets down on all fours, let the neighbors talk. But can't you see? Don't mean spit to me. But then that, uh, uh, you know, of course, it's uh, uh, here. Yeah, because meatless girls don't satisfy me. Mama, mama, for ride after ride after ride. I need a whole lot of woman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What you are is who you eat. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I am Betty Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's some funny shit right there. <laughs> I read that too. I read that earlier today. I'm like, the whole song is just somebody's going to mention up. that one. <laughs> Not even messed this up. Up. <laughs> I, I couldn't find one, and I'll, I'll ask you guys after we're done because there was nothing. I, I couldn't find the one. I couldn't think of what song it was from, but I'll, and I might be confused with Spinal Tap, but. <laughs> Dennis confused about something? No. Yes, I'm confused. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so that's, my, that's mine. There you go. All right, well, I'm going to go back to Burn Bitch Burn. <laughs> it's gonna put the whole lyrics it's the, the whole song, song that just keeps on giving <laughs> well it's an active thrust any way you slice it no sticks and stones no kicks and groans can hide it so why kid yourself it's so cut and dry your body's condemned and figures don't lie <laughs> what 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 random shit that just got a <laughs> rhyme that's <laughs> right <laughs> but i mean we could go on with that one there's that's the whole cover. song. You can just go to the cover song. my class, won't sit up and beg, which is wrong. I think Dean's begged a lot of girls for some poo nanny. Mm. All right. Wow. Moving this right shows, along. This, go, this show's going straight to the toilet, right? It'll probably be our biggest numbers show. It probably will be. <laughs> what do you got next, Craig? All righty. Plaster Caster. Oh, I was going to go there. Yeah. So uh, things are complicated. My love is in her hands and there's no more waiting. She understands the plaster is getting harder and my love is perfection. A token of her love of my love for her collection. Well, that makes sense. Wasn't this a real person? Yeah. Oh, this, yeah. This was a girl's that oh, went yeah. around making plaster pairs, uh, molds of, of rock stars, rock stars penises. junk. Was yep. it just one girl or multiple? It was a two, uh, it was two girls. It was two girls, two. the plaster quest, plaster caster Queens, or they call them. But yeah. And the funny, there's another there a whole bunch there. of people. I mean, there were a whole line in there. Yeah. Yeah. A whole bunch they of got everybody's. The best one is one that where you, you want to inject her. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> They should just call it Clona Willy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't the think they called it a Willy back then. Yeah, no shit. That's the right. thing. I don't think they called it a Willy back then. I don't no. think so. Either. Yeah, that's that's a newer thing. All, All right, right well, you're up next. Are okay, we on so four? Is this four? Yeah, this is four. Okay, good. Because I've got I'm leaving my last creepy two. Yeah, I don't really have a creep. My, my last one's not really creepy, but it's. Just, my, I think mine was really is not not as much just bad lyrics. Just the lyrics are just to me. I don't get it, or it didn't make right. sense to me. Mm, but no. it's songs that I really like, so it's just weird. So right. that's but that's gonna. This is Dennis's hates this song. So I, at least I think he hates this song. I think this is this the one, which is "I Love It Loud" from Creatures. Oh yeah, fucking yeah. hate that song. Yeah, stand up. You don't have to be afraid. Get down. Love is like a hurricane. Street boy. No, I never could be tamed. Better believe it. Guilty till I'm proven innocent. Whiplash, whiplash heavy metal accident. Rock on. I want to be president. That's Better not heavy it. metal accident. 
What? That's not heavy metal laxative? What? What? <laughs> heavy metal accident. Yeah. Accident is what it says. That'll be on the next show where the ones we we, we, we heard it lyrics. Misheard different. kiss lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean I've I've been I've sang this song for years and I'm like Yeah. Again, you sing the song, it's one thing, and you read it, it's like that is just complete yeah. um it's weird stuff. It's just I, I don't know. But ironically, um most of it's not Paul stuff. Yeah. At least for me, I mean, it was mostly Gene stuff that just like it's just a mess. Right. I don't know why. Well, I didn't throw any Peter Chris stuff in there because he didn't really write anything. He didn't write anything. He just <laughs> copied somebody else's stuff and whatever. All right, that was it for me. All right, Dennis. All right, so I'm going to go to the creepy dark side of Kiss, and this this is two songs that bother me, and it has the same it has the same kind of thing, little line going through it. And that's going blind, you know, and you know how it is to be. There's nothing more than you and I. Some are young and some are free, but I think I'm going blind. Little lady, can't you see you're so young and so much different than the I? I'm 93. You're 16. Can't you see I'm going blind? That was on my list. So this there will are continue four with songs. My, this will continue with my 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 fifth song. <laughs> I think I think I counted four songs, right. I, and I forgot to write them down. I think there's four songs that refer to sixteen year olds. To sixteen year olds, really? See, I didn't. Yeah, I there only are three there for sure. There are three oh, for really? sure. I thought there was a fourth one, but I, are I you know serious? there's three. Yes, are you, I'm serious. Dude, I I'm was like, like make them be eighteen, you dumbass. <laughs> these two creep me out. I mean, this one here, and I, I don't know. This was actually what a Wicked Lester recording, wasn't it? No, he, he demoed that, but it was never a Wicked Lester recording. Got you. Got you. Okay. But yeah, this thing here is yep. just kind of odd, and then I mean, we'll get into the yep. you know, we'll get into my fifth yeah. one. But yeah, that's just I, that's it's always kind of creep me out. It's just I don't know. It's like you know, it's like the Aqualung sitting on a park bench, you know, <laughs> eyeing little girls with bad intent. You know, it's just like <laughs> I hear you, man. <laughs> it's like man, that song just creeps me out. You know, just I don't want to hear it. You know, they put people in jail for that shit. You know. I'm Chris well, they Hansen. do now. They didn't. They, say they do now. They I'm, Chris, <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen. Why don't you have a seat, Gene? <laughs> <You know? laughs> they didn't. They didn't in 1974 or five or whatever it was written. All right. I'm okay. I'm done with it. My number four. But yeah, that, that song is creeped out. All right. Well, for my next pick, we're going back to the Asylum album because I've got um, any way you slice it. Um, well, if I told you once, I told you twice, just listen, babe, take my advice. Why settle for seconds when you can have the best? Let me be your king bee. I want your hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> you read it, it's just uh, so much funnier. <laughs> and, and you know, honestly, I think that is probably, and I, I should have made that my number one pick. That is great. But uh, that is probably my favorite Gene wants to fuck some chick line <laughs> right can you see him like right after a show walking up to somebody and saying can that i write this down because i forget it here in a minute. can i be your king b because i want to be in your hornet's nest yeah. <laughs> i wait that's a lyric uh, <laughs> well i'm surprised he never wrote a song that said i want to put my stinger in your honey pot or something <laughs> he couldn't find anything to rhyme with honey pot <laughs> probably not i do oh probably not Oh, I do it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes one shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. One, it on. takes one shot for your honey pot. <laughs> there you go, Gene. Uh, right. We won't even charge you royalties. <laughs> I made my note. All right. <laughs> All right, Craig, what do you got next? Uh, well, I, he, he got the, uh, the one I had with going blind. 16, 69, you're 16. So that was mine. Um, but one lyric that I, I love the song Love Gun, but one thing that's always bothered me is um, when he's talking about making her feel all right. What has the song? Uh, hang on. I really love Sorry. you, baby. I know yeah. what you've got. Correct. We get together, we can get hot. No more tomorrow, baby. Time is today. Girl, I can make you feel okay. Hey, we're no no high expectations. We're like, yeah, I can make you feel. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's probably because (laughs) 
because water pistol doesn't have the same punch as love gun. <laughs> okay. is, you got to remember this. You got to remember this though. It is. It is Paul Stanley going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess it's you know what water I water pistol. <laughs> uh, squirt gun. There you go. <laughs> you pulled the trigger of my squirt gun. <laughs> squirt gun. <laughs> they should do like the kid, like the kid bop thing, but do, do love gun, but do a do squirt gun. <laughs> God damn, that is. Funny. That would be the funniest shit ever, dude. And Dennis Frick is back in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Started at 16, going backwards. It's just a squirt gun. It's just a squirt gun. <laughs> All right, Bill, what's your next pick? Oh, my God, that's funny. All right, I, uh, so there must have been something about, I, I don't know. tearing up. What did we No, I just, crying? my eyes are itching. <laughs> um, no, I, I didn't, it's creature. I'm back to creatures again. So, oh, uh, Saint and Sinner. It's so creepy. It's like it's it. just weird. It's a, getting off this carousel. You can do as you please. You can go to hell. Put you, you put my back against the wall. Well, I'm not gonna fall on my knees. No, no, not at all. That is a remake, though. Too Saint and Sinner is not their song. It's not. No, it is a remake. Rock and Roll Hell is a remake. Oh no, you're right. You're right. Sorry, Rock and Roll Hell is the remake. I say like, because it's got like okay. they're yeah. they're the ones that uh, yeah, you're, I'm like yeah. And, and Rock and Roll Hell is one of those songs where he kept the chorus. Yes, but it is not wrote the verse. It's not the whole song, but it is very similar. And who was it that did that? I, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Bachman, yeah, BTO. That's it. You're right. Uh, yeah, this is another one of those things that was lyrics to me. Just they were just kind of random. I okay. they don't make sense. But right. it's one of my favorite <laughs> songs off that record. Right. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. Is that what does that mean? That means something well, bad. Well, you know, honestly, mm -hmm. if you look, if you look at a lot of artist lyrics, they're really kind of out there, especially back oh. in the seventies. Exactly. Like every Alice Cooper record, <laughs> just about. I mean, they're all a little. I like them. Like like <laughs> oh no, no, I like them. I just no, I they're like all just you. not. Yeah. There's you know, <laughs> feed my Frankenstein and, and you know whatever. what? I've been I've been singing I've been singing half the wrong lyrics to all these songs over the years. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, I've been go. making up shit. You know, it's like as long as it rhymes and just kind of sounds the same, it doesn't matter. So anyway, all right. So my last one, of course, it was you were going to get right to it because it's in the fucking title. It's Christine sixteen. I mean it. And it, 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 the song creeps gets creepier every year they play it. <laughs> you know, when you know, it was creepy when he, he when he sang it when he was in the 30s, but now it's creep really, really creepy when he's doing it when he's almost 70 years old. You know, it's kind of it's almost you know going blind is is coming true at some point. And uh, well, I hate to break it to you, but he's not almost 70, he is 70. Why well, no, he is 70. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but, no I mean, that's why he calls it Christine 60 now. But he has, he has been so kind of, I think, I think he's, I think he's kind of himself going, you know, this is just not, <laughs> this is kind of pervy, and it just doesn't, I mean, it's a great song. Well, also, wrong. those guys, you know, back in the 70s, they never expected their bands to last more than five or six years, so that's true, that that's has true. something to do with it, too, I think. But I mean that also that song came out though on it was on Rock and Roll Over right or no love was it yeah Rock and Roll Over what? right Christine huh? sixteen is on no love it's on Gun. Love Gun well, Love Gun Love Gun but see it was light light it was already after they made it big so it wasn't like they knew they were gonna be around for a while trust me so but yeah it uh, but yeah that, that song just kind of creepy it always kind of felt kind of creepy especially that when I saw you coming out of school that day that day I knew I knew. When I was in my white van, and I had candy. <laughs> I, I really needed Free hugs <laughs> with candy on the side of the on the side of the van. <laughs> I had to. Was it? <laughs> oh, and it I mean, just seems just, wrong singing it. I mean, it's just like it does. It's just it's, it's just, just creepy. It's just fucking creepy. I'm sorry. It's just matter of fact because what was so funny was one day we were in the car and that song was on the radio and I didn't say a word and my wife <laughs> pointed that out. She goes, Kelly goes. That's just fucking creepy. <laughs> I go, yeah, it's, it's it's really creepy. So yeah, everybody knows it's creepy. So yep, that's me. Top creep song. All right, my final pick comes from the Dress to Kill album, and it is the very first few lines of uh, "Ladies in Waiting." 
So you've been yeah. to the market and the meat looks good tonight. <laughs> and the ladies in waiting will show you what it's all about. <laughs> they got they got a sale on steak? Yeah. Tube well, steak? I, I, I was gonna say maybe he wants to give them some tube steak. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. They got a sale. <laughs> Yeah, if I should have oh, saved my solid one for the last, that was the best one. <laughs> Goodness sakes. So let me ask you a question. Is there one song, and I was trying to find it, and I just I didn't have time. I have been just busier than hell, and I, I had an eye appointment right after work today, so I couldn't go digging into it. I know there was a song that they used some spinal tap type words, and did it, there was anything that he used the word pink tuxedo or pink torpedo? I know that it's in Big Bottom on on all the on all, you know on the uh, Spinal Tap. It was there a Gene song so. where he says something about a, a flesh tuxedo. I don't remember hearing that. I don't think I've heard that. There, Fit uh, me like a flesh tuxedo. I think that mm -hmm. is Gene, and that's off of God damn. No, he did uh, something about a skin tight suit. But it was nothing about a flesh, flesh nothing, tuxedo. Nothing I'm made out of flesh. Yeah, you. I'm telling you. So them, Domino, <laughs> Domino was another song about a teenager. Can you think of the fourth one that you were thinking of? Domino. Yeah, is? That's what I was. I was looking at it because I I thought it was. I thought it was off one of the earlier records, and that's why I was trying to find it. That's why I was looking at. It. I didn't write it down. That's what I'm trying to st struggle a little bit. That's okay. Good. Flesh. Whatever the skin tight reference was, was also on a side I'm, I'm almost positive. No, Big Bottoms. My baby fits me like a flex, flesh tuxedo. I like to see her with my Pete torpedo. <laughs> She's like going, God damn it, I wish I wrote that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just, for some reason, I thought there was something he, well, you know, he said something about a cheap suit. You, you're on me like a cheap suit. That was one of. That's it. You're all over me like a cheap suit. Yeah, but what, which one, what is that? That might be on Animal Eyes. I think it is. It's she one was of all songs. over me like a cheap, cheap, suit. cheap suit. Secretly Cruel, it is on Asylum. Okay, there you go. But I knew there was something which, speaking about Speaking of that, get on YouTube. Type in secretly cool, cruel double Virgo and check out their version. They did a right. 70 sounding version of that song. I've, I'm sure I've mentioned it here before right. and I will mention it again because it's so fucking awesome. Yeah. Cool. Craig, what kind of honorable mentions did you have? I, I think we've covered everything. I mean, other than rock hard or rise to it, either one of those could work. Yeah. I mean, those are just blatant. <laughs> like I said, when it's in a title, it's like, <laughs> but those are the songs I like. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean they're just good put it songs. Out there. Yeah, yeah, just throw it out there. There was a bunch of them on too on on look it on the on the early like I said the Vinny album or with the with look it up. What was that? What cuts cut to you like but or was it like that's a hot knife like butter? Glove. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's like, like a glove. glove. See that's that could have been a song you could just re, you know recite the whole thing. It's just really cheap. <laughs> Sexist lyrics. That's the one too that isn't isn't it when they're in her when they're introducing that and Paul goes fits like a glove like that. And I'm like, dude, don't do that. What are you doing? Like, Stop. Wow. And then he does the whole finger thing, you know, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I will tell you the, in my opinion, the best thing that ever come about because of that song is Paul Stanley's stage rap before that song on the animalized live uncensored talking about that baby had the longest fucking tongue I ever yeah, seen in yeah. my life. <laughs> Bill, did you have any honorable mentions? No, the only honorable mention I had was the the sixteen thing. That was what I yeah. that was what I wrote was that was just creepy. I cannot find the fourth one. I'll keep looking around though, because I thought I had I thought there were four. Well, but, room, but service, room service room service kind of has a reference. See, I thought yeah. that's what I I went back and looked at that one because I thought that was it, but I don't see it actually say that in there. But I I, I was kind of floored when you said there was. So Domino though that was about a girl. See, I didn't really listen to the words. That I'm she not a big old domino. enough to vote. Oh, see, I I never that line was right there. Gives the whole thing away. Well, and they're see, all I, Gene songs. Have you right. noticed that? Yeah, it is. I think Gene's probably had a few Christine sixteens. Yeah, 
in his day back when he was he's not anymore but you know it, it's you know in his day heyday back before the statute of limitations ran out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. oh no 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 yeah, yeah, room service room service she's it says i'm in my hometown i'm hanging around with all the ladies treat me real good a sweet sweet 16 looking, looking hot up and says and i wish, I wish you, would. you would there you go there you See, go. That's I a Paul told song. You. That's a Paul I song, isn't it? You. It is. That is a Paul song. So Paul, yep. was, yeah, Paul hit a few of them too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't know all the lyrics to those songs. <laughs> I just must have sang I'm random things. Sure but the whole people... point is, is when we were when we were listening to these songs, we were you know we were 10, 12 years old, and then you know they weren't. We did. We thought that they weren't that old. You know they were, and we didn't know that it was illegal to be humping a 16 year old at that well point, so. but you know i i've always we were to trying music, to help 16 year olds but i've always listened to music and just listen to the music and yeah. the lyric but I, i've never really i don't study the lyrics study. You know, all this stuff came up you know came along about the pmrc and all that kind of stuff and sure. you know all the lyrics about that i'm like i just listen to the music and sing along i mean i'm not like sitting there Right. You know, trying to decipher every line and what does it mean to me and what am I going to do if sure. I read this? I never did. I never do that. I never do it now. Um, I don't either. Unless it's a country song. When it's, the one, there's only one line in every one of them. So what about a truck or a dog? Yeah, a truck, or... get drunk, shoot your dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, there's a train in there too. In there. A train. No, not, no, not no, no. Trains are kind of, trains are kind of past. Maybe a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt road. Fishing, yeah, yeah, or beer, else. beer. <laughs> what happens when you play a country song backwards? I make it, yeah, you get gets, your dog you get, back, you get your get wife, wife back, back. Get your truck back. Gets all this again. talks, all this talks making making Alan all homesick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I guarantee you, I'm not homesick. Craig is probably not homesick, not at yeah. all. A Craig, you and, and the funny thing is, is anytime either one of us go back. We remember why we left. Yeah, real quick, because I live in Nashville. Right. You like where? Where do you? So you like how long you been in Nashville, then, Craig? Since '95. '95. Wow. See, it's kind of funny because like '90s country for me is okay. I, I I didn't mind it then because when the grunge thing <sighs> happened. Well, yeah, it looks oh, familiar. No. <laughs> when the grunge thing, when the grunge, you looked really hey. pretty good at that. That was no. pretty good. Um, you had some practice. Um. <laughs> I, no, because I when the grunge thing happened, I just left. I went, I went off the chart and went to country and was like, That's what I, I, was, I was all That's into right. that and left all that other bullshit. And I was like, uh, the bands that I really liked, I followed that, but all the rest of it, I didn't get into that at all. Like everybody tells me, well, what do you think about Nirvana? I don't even know who you're talking about because I don't have any of their records, don't have any of their singles, don't have any of their mm -hmm. stuff. Don't give a shit. I agree. I'm right there with you. <laughs> what was Don't, that? Disc? Just, I'm, I'm it's a mini disc. Gonna, it was, yeah, you ever seen mini discs? Yeah, no, I have. Some. Let me let me be more specific. What is on that mini disc? This is the monkeys, and it's last train to Clarksville. Uh, well, it's a mini disc. So somewhere. it's yeah. a mini disc. So isn't it last train to clock? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the last clown car. <laughs> they're little guys little well I, th I think on that note we should probably wrap this up craig thanks you, for coming on the show yeah. thank you craig yeah you offended just about everybody i think well that, that's, that's part of what equal we opportunity we <laughs> offenders we, nobody nobody gets left out uh, but nobody yeah, craig, left behind craig has listened to our show from the beginning and we really well, thank appreciate you. it i'm thanks, sorry man. he's I'm one sorry, of our man. 10 dedicated <laughs> listeners Really sorry. How did it take this long to get you on the show? My God, man! Man, two hundred and sixteen hours wasted. We've let we've let people that we <laughs> yeah, we've let a lot of people on here, and you're just now getting on here. How'd that happen? Uh, late bloomer. Well, it happened. Well, you know, it won't, it won't be. Craig the last. and I have actually talked about it before, and then I always forget or something. Like that. And he was like, "Oh, we've all been in the room together." He was the Vinnie Vincent thing. Yeah. Craig oh, okay. oh, in Atlanta? I Atlanta? About that. Yeah, because oh. I sent you guys yeah. pictures, but when he first came out, or she came out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the proper... The proper yeah. What, yeah, you know, yeah. The, they? When, come when on Vinny, now. When, they, Vinny, when Vinny came out. When Vinny that? came out, I sent you there guys you pictures. Because I was actually driving. Because I was That's still... Right, I didn't get down there. Because I, I watermarked that almost, picture and uploaded it. And yeah, I, I, I even forgot you had sent us that. 
Yeah. Terrible, terrible I got friend. the picture as I was driving across, I think between Tennessee and Georgia border, I got, I got a, uh, I got a, I got a picture on my phone. I went home with ding and it goes, this is Vinny. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> you know, I'm still trying. It woke me up enough after I made it, you know, I was, it was almost like 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I had to drive. Did he ever do another expo after that, or was that it? Kind of his one he and done. To, no expo wise, no. No, he did some of those like spooktacular. No, he didn't do. He didn't do it, and his own a, thing. No, or like that thing. He did. He did the. He did the vault with with Gene Simmons, which I right. was, that, yeah. I was at. And he did two or three of the comic the sp- cons or spooky cons or festivals or, yeah, or whatever. Festivals or whatever. And there's a really funny story. If you want to hear a funny story, uh, sure. Look up uh, Chris Jericho talking about Vinny Vincent because they were at the same <laughs> event, right? And he wanted to meet Vinny because he's a huge Kiss fan. He's done sure. a he's oh, got yeah. a, um, some st- stuff he's doing right now, um, and the, he's calling the quarantine sessions with a K and Bruce sure. Felix playing on some of the stuff. Yeah, so they and, just put out. Uh, yeah, they just put out. Now it's secretly cool. Girl, what was it? Uh, uh, was Heart of Chrome. Uh, yeah, Heart of Chrome. Yeah, and he's uh, done a couple things, and um, but he wanted to meet Vinny and chat with them and <laughs> so if you think about this chris jericho's got people just lined up constantly and and vinnie is doing the vinnie thing where he's got <laughs> like three people and he's done and i got one <laughs> he wanted to meet him and vinnie wanted to charge him oh, to meet him serious? yeah i mean he just wanted to talk to him and you know express you know his gratitude for you know the music that he made with kiss and stuff like that and he's like <laughs> you're gonna have to pay <laughs> and he's like what the hell? I, mean, I, just, you. <laughs> I guarantee you a picture with Je- with chris jericho going out to the wrestling community would have been a shit ton more for vinnie vincent's career yeah, no shit <laughs> at that time than anything he did and he would have talked nice about him if he would have been nice oh, to he him totally he would have promoted because just... because jericho's got his own network he has his <laughs> own fucking network <laughs> yeah he got no, you're gonna have to you're gonna pay me <laughs> he got roasted instead <laughs> well, once again, Vinnie Vincent knows how to self-destruct his own career daily, and he's a king of it. That's for sure, or queen. You know, he's whatever. been he's been awful quiet. Well, I guess co- he's scared of COVID and whatever. So anyway, they all well, are. He's alienated everybody that ever. Liked I don't think. It. I think he invented. And COVID you know what though? And, 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 you know, and Craig, you you can attest to this too because you were in that you were in Atlanta for that for that deal. Everybody there couldn't have been nicer to him. For a guy who came out after being in hiding for so long with the look that he had and everything else, not nobody treated him bad. Nobody asked no. an odd question. Everybody, even all the podcasters who did podcasts about that, instead of coming out and going, oh, my God, can you believe what Vinny was wearing and how he looked and how he – nobody did a thing like that. And then no. afterwards, he basically turned on – everyone who was nice to him and i'm like at that point it's like going, well, you know what at this point the, the gloves are off dude <laughs> you know we gave you the chance we we wanted to see you back we were happy to see you out we want nothing but the best for you and you just basically well, there were a whole bunch of people that went down there for that reason only. yes oh yeah, yeah. that's it up. if any Vincent would have been at that convention that convention would have been half that guaranteed well, yeah Guaranteed. It was a little rough too. Very well, it wasn't run very well. Either. Oh, it was, it was no, it was that dude. Jesus Christ! That well, was now it. Craig, you stood in line for so long, you pretty well missed his entire Q and A session on that Saturday, didn't you? Yes. Wow. No, no, no. I stayed up late Friday night for the autograph. Was it Friday night? I, I got I, in Friday night, and then Saturday I was a long line. I remember coming to see you while you were standing in line. I don't remember what night it was. I think that was Friday night. It was just a very well, regardless, every everything yeah. that was there was terribly run. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we it seemed like we were in line forever, and then he wanted to go eat. We're like, what? What? What about the rest of us? Yeah. And it then, was a long line. And then try to get a beer there, or try to get anything, a water. You couldn't get anything in that place. You go downstairs, no. and they have one one waiter bartender and there was a line you know out the door it's like are you freaking kidding me i got in there at one point this 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 black girl she was like she was like one of the girls a waiter she's like one she goes what do you need you need beer or something like that what's the water she goes here 
she handed me two bottles of water and they were, of course, you know, three to four bucks a piece. And I go, how much do I owe you? She goes, just take them. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> he was frustrated too. Cause I mean, it was, it was just ill. You know, they didn't have any staffing. The The whole place was the, the hotel was not ready for that period. No, It was not, it was not good. Anyway. All right. Sidetrack, but we well, those sidetracks are fine. I know it is fun. Again. Look, Craig, thank you again. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, man. Uh, People, y'all know what to do. Agesofrock.com. Till next time, peace out. Thanks for listening to the Ages of Rock podcast. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and most importantly, tell all your friends. Remember, You're never too old to rock. Until the next episode, peace out, folks.